back here. So this is the new design we're going for. We, we split the statuses into success and failure. We pass them into a moving average uh, response time uh, processor and, to, and into another uh, failure processor. This will define a success stream and a failure stream. Failure stream. And this is going to be status stream dot partition. We'll see how that's defined in a second. And partition is going to be a function, that, a method that on channel that takes a block. And that block is going to check a value for type. So if it's going to go like it's if the value is a status checker success then and uh, if v dot status code is less than 400 then we're going to go one way so values that um, respond that return true on this predicate will go through the success stream and values that return for false on this uh, predicate will go to the failure stream and then what I wanted to do in order to do this in a bit of a gradual way I'm going to define another interesting uh, method which is an OR between channels so this is going to be success dot uh, success stream or failure stream and then as we go I'm going to uh, try and address this so how does this work we need to go and define what partition is and this is going to allow us to uh, stream through a channel and then split the values coming into the channel into two different channels and then we can uh, process values from each one of the channels and then merge them together with an OR. And as we define uh, new processors, I'm going to change the values that the, the channels that we're merging at the level of stats writer, but for the time being, just to see things compiling and make sure, making sure that partition and or, or which is the merge between channels actually works uh, as expected. So I'm going to go to our uh, concurrency utility and I'm going to be defining a set of methods for the abstract class uh, channel T. So this is actually as monkey patching the uh, channel T abstract class. One of the methods is only called partition and it's going to take a block which is a predicate why is that called a predicate well because it takes values t's and returns a boolean and usually those blocks we call predicates they evaluate uh, a particular expression on on t so what does this looks like well a partition generates a tuple of success and failures for the time being, these are going to be channels. So a tuple of channel T, channel T. And so as we, as per usual, what we do is we create one or more channels and then we tap on them so that we can uh, close over uh, the two channels. And you'll see how things actually read quite well. One of the channels is going to be the one we stream uh, values that pass the predicate in and the other one is going to be the one where we f the where, where the predicate fails and as as per usual and this is a pattern you've seen many many times we do spawn uh, do and then inside the spawn do we have a loop that goes over values of the of the uh, of the input channel the input channel in this case is self so it's going to be something like self this is going to be something like self perceive and then what we do is we let's call this the value that we receive. And then we, what we do is we evaluate the predicate on the value. And then depending on the response, if the predicate is evalu evaluates to true, then we're gonna stream into the past channel. If instead the predicate evaluates false, then we're gonna stream into the fail channel, send value. This is really it. The only thing we need to think about is what happens when the channel closes. So if someone closes this channel, then uh, then of course, uh, then of course the 
uh, self receive is going to throw an exception we know that that exception is a channel closed exception so we might as, as well handle that um, so we're going to be rescuing outside the loop so what's going to happen is that whenever someone closes the channel for some reason uh, we're going to uh, uh, self receive is going to throw an exception and the exception we we rescue inside the spawn block at the level of the fiber so we do channel closed error and at this point we just make sure we um, log is we close the downstream channels which would be pass dot close and fail dot close this is really everything we need to do uh, whenever the upstream channel is closed and if we go back to our URL ch uh, checker which is our main in this application you can see how we're using this we have a set of statuses uh, being streamed into our uh, into one one of our process one of our uh, channels and we partition the values that come into the channel depending on their uh, type and on the status code so whenever we have a request that was successful which means it was a request uh, where we got a response and a status code that could be uh, 200, could be a 400 uh, or, or 500, it doesn't matter. We check the, state, the, the, the type and the status code. Whenever it's actually a successful response for us, then we send the value down to the success stream. And whenever it's a failure, then we send down the value to uh, the failure stream. 